this week's episode. Is it the best free camp in Queensland? It's gonna end up in tears, but... This is my partner, Steph, and this weird fella right here, that's me. We're full-time travelers with our two Groms, Georgie, aka Gorg, and Wesley, aka Wes Dog. Come follow us as we hit up one epic destination after the other. And yes, things go wrong, plans do change, but that's all part of the fun. So who are we? We are Lost Tribe Adventures. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, we are hitting up all the free camps from Sunny Coast upwards. So last night we stayed at Petrie Park, which is just out of um, Tai Aro. So previous episode, you can see that Taria? one. There. Taria? Taria? Oh, it's Taria. I don't even know. Anyway. Don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, it's Taria or Tai Aro or something like that. So good little park, heaps of angles, not much flat space. But we've um, come up the highway now and where are we? Uh, uh, I don't even know. Calliope. Cal Calliope? Yeah. Cal yeah, don't even know. How to Calliope. So, Calliope. This is a really good camp, though. Yeah. Upper, it's got like an upper Daddy. level and a lower level. Yeah, so we're on the causeway. See there? And you got south side over this way. Do you want me to turn? And then north side up over the other side of the river. It's on the high side. So, you haven't got a uh, toilet block up there anymore or portable toilets up here. Um, on the south side, you actually got a toilet block and water point. So we're on the south side. Couldn't get riverfront as it's a popular spot. There's probably, I don't know, what do you reckon? 100 vans here? Yeah. Good little spot. 48 hours max only. So then they do patrol this. So 48 hours yeah, max. Yeah, the pops just drove past before actually. So hey, you, Bubba. Not too try to monitor, monitor our children and make sure they don't fall in the water. Yeah, so we're trying to keep them away. That's one thing with kids, you just got to eyeball on them all, all the time, mate. It's just And that's on. what makes YouTube hard too sometimes, is yeah. doing this stuff and like... But yeah. we try to keep it real, this is part of it. Morning guys, Calio. We stayed our first night here and it's actually not a bad little camp, this one. So I think we might save the extra night. Today the kids are out and about because we do have some rain coming. So we're just kicking the ball, hey mate? Yep. Woo -woo -woo. Tell us a big kick. Okay. And Mama Bear and Georgie are back over there, done some washing and stuff. But Georgie, hang on. They're doing some painting this morning. Hey? George, you doing some painting? Oh my god, that's so nice. Hey? What are you doing, Bubba? What's that, Suns? Painting. Painting? Painting? Here's your pink. Okay. So, this is one way we keep the kids entertained. We've got Lego and Play Doh and bits and pieces, and obviously, we've got their bikes and skateboards and stuff, but you're going to do some painting too, mate? Yeah. Yeah? Alright. So, yeah, we'll enjoy the day here. We'll move on in the morning. So we've left Calliope, Calliope, I like that name, Calliope, but anyway, we left there, the rain rolled in right on cue. Um, we actually use a app which is called Windy, highly recommend, it's fantastic, has 14 it's days for, yeah, 14 days forecast, um, gives you like gust of wind, constant wind, rain, timing of rain, up for 14 days, so it's absolutely awesome, I'll throw a little picture in here. Uh, over there, yeah. over there somewhere. Um, yeah, so highly recommend download that one. Free app, awesome. Uh, we roll out of there. We head into Rocky um, to top up. So we're going to give you some figures. So food was. We always shop at Audi. Oh, Sorry, Audi. That's a... 
left. That's a, a massive money saver for us. And we always find if we go to Coles or Woolies, we end up spending an extra 200 bucks. Yeah. So that what that shop we just did, how much was it? 317 for food, 221 for fuel, and we did $67 for alcohol. So it's about just over $600, and that should last us seven to 10 days. Yeah, like today we brought like coffee on the road and a meat pie to share. Like we don't know where. Where was that place? That place was freaking awesome. That Big Mama's Pies. Big Mama's Pies at. Can't remember, but we'll Larkham. put it in there. Larkham. It was like we'll the put a little thing in there. We'll find meat it. Pie we've ever yeah. had. It's actually not on Wiki, it's not a, an interest point on Wiki, but yeah, if yeah. you're going past, pull in, get a coffee and a meat and pie. The coffee was oh, awesome. Oh, oh, so good. But heading up the coast now, I'm not sure. I don't know where we're going. A few <laughs> stops outside of Rocky that we'll go to, but again, free camps. There might be gravel pit sides, or I'm not really. There's a roadhouse that you can stay for free, yeah, we but. We found something that's about 80 kilometres away from here, so we'll. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we we'll go. Let you, we'll let you know where we end up, and. Um, yeah, I'll show you once we get there. Yeah, okay. We just had a night at the Waverley Creek Rest Area. So this is a 20 hour max stay. Um, it's on a main road, so the trains uh, trains the trucks do come past and it is quite noisy um, but we slept like logs anyway. we did we were super that was shocked such a good night's sleep <laughs> yeah we had the best sleep um, like, surprisingly we're like we're gonna have the worst sleep tonight and then yeah, I think the, the hum of the trucks put us to yeah, sleep yeah <laughs> the white it was like white noise um, but, yeah it's a functional to, camp here like it's a functional stop it's not great yeah, no, it's got beards it's got everything you need the kids yeah. we've got a little picnic table at the front so I'll just show you around this is where we are Little picnic table over here, right no, in front of us. No, Where's has got a little tree over there. He's been climbing. Yeah, um, there's no playground here or anything like that for the kids, obviously. But it is just a quick stopover. We're on our way to the big one, the big or the best free the, camp the apparently in Queensland. We yeah. all know what it is. We're heading to Notch Point, yeah. so hopefully it's worth all the hype, guys. Mm -hmm. Follow along. We'll take you for the journey, our journey to Notch Point. Um, yeah. Stay tuned. can get through it does look extremely crocodile here so I am a little bit worried about crocodiles and Georgie's in the back seat like literally going ah, crocodile! she's freaking out so on the sign it says regulated camping uh, let me turn this around regulated camping is allowed in the reserve for a maximum of seven nights in any 21 day period we're allowed to have campfires which is awesome and I will get back on shortly and give you a little rundown of what the truck looks like heading in. Good little missus opening the gate there. Look at her, hey? guys 
we're here at Knott's Point. We've been here for a few days now, so um, we really wanted to soak in the aroma of this place before we give our full review on it. Is it the best free camp in Queensland? I don't know if we can actually. We really haven't been to every that. free camp in Queensland, so we can't really judge. But yeah. it has to be up there, high on the list. It really does. Like it's pretty damn epic here and honestly like everyone's got a smile on their face here like a cheshire cat it really it really gives you that cool vibe and We've like met so many amazing people already here and like, their families great nomads you know experienced campers novice campers pop tops the whole just lot people on holiday even like just yeah a yeah. couple of days or full timers like the vibe here is amazing and like you don't get the full aspect through the lens of this actual place but i'm going to pop you up in the air go through every uh, campsite because there is probably four zones so to speak around here but um, we'll pop you up in the air give you a full run do run through run, of the, <laughs> run, do, run, do, run through of the actual area um, and show you where they all the sections that you can actually yeah. camp in but. and which which um, roads did you talk to them about the road oh yeah we'll run through the roads and how to get to where we are because there's um, two two ways and one way is a really sketchy way and you don't really want to take that way no, <laughs> we've seen a couple of people try to take it, and yeah, it's going to end up in tears. But and it does get really windy here too, so I do suggest putting your awning in at night because, like, yeah, I made lost, lost his awning. Yeah, lost his awning as well. Yeah, but um, family orientated, thumbs up. On this side, the north easterly side has been a banger spot. Eh? Like we're prime position. Wes has got a little friend down here. His next yeah, door neighbours. I'm really not feeling comfortable with Wes being that close to the water right now. Just saying. Yeah. You haven't got a crocky feel over this side, over the other side, which I'll show you. Um, Even though a man got eaten by a crocodile apparently just there. Yeah, we don't know that. It says he went missing. Funny. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, but here, apparently some of the locals have said that there are they haven't seen any crocodiles here, but if you went 20k, like in that direction heading towards Mackay apparently they're like invested with them so yeah just, I just don't put yourself in a stupid situation and you'll be fine that's and I feel like that's what I don't understand though like how can crocodiles be infested 20 kilometers that way but there's none here like I don't understand that maybe they're just like hanging out in that creek instead I know, of I down here I don't get it though like I, I just don't understand anyway, how they'll be we're going on now we're going yep. on sorry guys but um big pluses about this area beachfront you got the ridge for walks, you got places for the kids to ride bikes, you got coconut trees, coconuts. You swings. Got swings, yeah. Little, little Wesley's got a mad little swing in front of us here on the beach here. Um, he absolutely loves it, does a little aerobatic sort of stuff. But And the other one was for families, like there's lots of kids, there are kids coming and going a lot here, which yeah. is sometimes, I think I always say, like it's hard to find families on the road with kids. Like, there's lots of travel families out there, but you never see them. Yeah, and but, this one's been a popular place. Yeah, the yeah. kids have had... A, a few kids to play with here which has been awesome for them and on clockwork every afternoon there's a herd of cows come through so you get that sort of farmy feel as well which yeah. is you know ocean and farm like what yeah, can you go awesome. and fire pits and yeah it's just bloody awesome but punch you up in the air now run through these campsites with you and catch you in a bit let's start this grand tour from the air but first up a good old safety brief this area right here is private property it is well signposted and it does say you will be shot on site but other than that let's get going i don't know the official names of these bits that i'm pointing out right here but i'm just going to play it the way i see it so i'm going to call this one grandma's upper lip it is quite hairy bit whoopy but can take a big van so if you do have a big setup definitely look at this place for you we head around the corner and i'm going to call this place back sack and crack it's overdue for a trim it's very bushy but it's a good place for a camper trailer or a small hybrid and you're just around the corner from the boat ramp so not a bad little place to camp next on the list is big bundy if you're chasing those 360 degree views of the whole area definitely go for this one if you have a decent four-wheel drive with a rooftop tent small camper trailer or a very small hybrid this one's for you but if you're itching for those beachfront views come for a wander down this way you follow this track all the way down to the left, fully nose all the way down, and you come to a place which I call Coconut Alley. This is where we stayed, and this is where we recommend. But this wraps up our tour. Thank you for flying with Air Lost Tribe.
All right, guys, that's our trip at Notch Point done and dusted. So we're at our limitations uh, with the toilet. So we've got U-boat slapping the, the top of the toilet and we're out of water <laughs> and Steph's getting a bit pongy. So we've got to go back. Hey. I'm not. <laughs> no, so absolute awesome stay. Yeah, uh, we're just at the, the first time. We're just at the bin. There's a bin at the front gate. So we're dumping our rubbish and we'll start banging north again, hey? Yep. We're a bit sad. We don't want to leave this place. No. We've just met some epic people. We have met the most yeah. amazing people at this Even camp. last night, a couple of rolled in and a couple of cruisers and stuff. And we had a bit yeah. of a chin wag and yeah, it was awesome. Loved it. So if you haven't been here and it's not on your list, put Definitely it on there. Put it on there. Make it, yeah. yeah make put it, it on there. It. Yeah. It's been epic, 100%. guys. But um, thanks again for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, give us a little. And um, yeah, we'll see you on the road. See you guys. Woo!